Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. And today it's like a vintage uh, card made with the snow front. Uh, if you get waterfront, this would be a great addition to go with your waterfront. So I'm going to share with you how I done that. Very little sponging, all in neutral color. Pretty much except the sky add a little bit of pink and yellow. And then a little bit of bluish there for our lake. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the trees. And I'm going to low it up, low it down a little bit so I can get more of that pretty sky. So we're going to start with the trees. And I'm going to put that here because I want to have it lower. So that's about right. Um, let me measure here. So that should help you if I measure. So from the top, it's about two and a half. And by the way, this measure five and three eight by four and one eight. And I'm stamping the trees in um, soft suede. Here we go. I bring that down quite a bit here. So that's going to give me a little bit more place to play with the sky. Now for the mountain, I'm using gray granite. And my little granite, it's right there beside me watching. He's like, Mama, you're saying my name. Okay, we're going to go with the mountain. I'm going to bring this down a little bit here. Now, because I'm off the paper there, I cannot come and stand back. Because you see, there it's dark. This is lighter. And see what would happen if I go back? I would have this. So anytime you're off your paper, you want to... And you want to stamp off you're going to have to just ink again stamp off there and then come back to your project if not you're going to have those line there now i'm going to come back here now it's all on my paper right so then i can come lift up and then come back here voila now i'm just going to do a little bit right here and then let me stamp this off and come do another peek there. Et voila. So now I got my mountain range. You know what? I want just a little one there. So what I'm going to do, it's this here. Here we go. So now I got another one. I think I needed something there. So now we got the snowy range that I call that. If you're from Colorado, you're going to say, yep, snowy range it is. The Rockies, I should say. Here we go. I'm thinking the Snowy Range, that's in Wyoming. So, let's do our sponging at the top. I'm going to use Blushing Bright. The, I started this one with Petal Pink, and I think Blushing Bright, it's a little bit darker. So, I'm going to use Blushing Bright. Let me make sure I'm not, okay, mixing my sponge there. And what I like to do, I like to flip this on the side. So this is facing me on the long way here. Start on the side there and come and motion circle. Now again here, motion circle. And again, till I get about a nice little reddish pinkish for my sunset. Now I'm going to leave that there. Because I know I'm going to use more. I'm going to bring my So Saffron. And let me make sure I'm not mixing. Okay. So Saffron. And again, I'm going to go there. And I'm just going to go above the mountains there. Even if it touched the mountain. I'm not masking this. Usually I would mask. But this I want like the reflection of the sun there. Put it that way. And then here we go. A little bit at the top. So that's, I think that's about enough of the yellow. Now I'm bringing back my pink and really put more of the pink there. So I feel this gives me that sunset look there. Mm. And I'm going to put a bit more yellow to get more orangey, I think. Oh, yep, 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 yep. So here we go. 
get a little bit more here of the yellow. Now let me go back with the pink. So always start on your scrappy paper there. That makes such a difference that if not, you're going to have like blah of your color. And I think that's where that people get difficulty with. So now I think you get that pretty sunset there. Now let me bring you, this is a post-it note that I just read. Oh, let's do our big three first. So I'm going to use the big three. Call that the naked tree here because don't have no leaf, no nothing. And that it's in the soft suede also. And I'm going to put that right here. Et voila. Now let me bring the this piece here. I call that the ground. And that I'm going to use that with Sarah sand. So the ground will be covered with Sarah sand. Let me close those ink pad here before I get a fiasco with my sponge and so on. Okay, now let me, this, I'm going to stamp off because I don't want too dark. I'm going to put that right there. So you see I got just a little uh, thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and start some sponging. So start on your scrappy paper. Let me make sure I'm in the view here. Yes. See, you get just a little definition. Let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer to see. Here we go. Now I'm going to come here. So you just go randomly adding a little bit of that, I call it the sepia tone, to make it look vintage a little bit. So I just keep on adding right on top of what you stamp. That's perfectly fine. And you see I go randomly, not straight line. So it just give like a ground a nice definition. Come right here. I don't have to add more here. Here we go. Now we're going to do... Oh, we need our lake. The lake, it's in a seaside spray. It seems that's the color I've been using lately for water or ice or so on. Stamp off though. And then we're going to put that. No, I'm going to put this. Okay. Stamp off. And I'm going to put my lake right here. Voila. So it's just a soft kind of bluish color. Now I'm going to take again this and we're going to add some color to it. Let me add a little bit more there. Again start on my scrappy paper at all time when you get more ink because if you don't do that you're going to have very dark and blotchy color. So start always on, if you don't want blotchy color, start on your scrappy paper and that's really going to take away those blotchy ink line. Oh, here I can add just a little bit. And here, let me add a little bit here. And now I'm going to share with you how to do the fence. And we won't do the happy birthday till the end because to make sure we get the space for it. So now you can see, I think I did very lovely. I like it. So if you look closely on this one, in, you get that shiny there. What is the shiny? I use the crystal effect and I apply a very light layer on that. That would take about, oh, maybe 15, 20 minutes to dry. So this time we will not use the crystal effect because I want to do the fence right away, okay? So, but that, let me show you how, uh, I got one right here that it's not finished here. So what I would do, see, I just add, squeeze, and add a little layer. And don't worry if it's not all full. It's to give the look of the water. It's very thick. Et voila. So now I would have to let that dry. I'm going to move that. Then when you're done, tap it down. Here we go. 
Okay, now you know how to do that. Now we're going to take baker's, uh, not baker's thread, sorry, linen thread. And linen thread, when it's rolled around this, you get all those king there. See those king? So to remove the king from the linen thread, take your bone folder and go gently. If you go very hard, it's going to very curl. Now you're going to put adhesive in the back. You can use the tear and tape. In this case, I am using fast fuse, but you can use tear and tape. Now we're going to do um, a two rail fence. So I'm going to put one right there. It's going to go on top of the leg. That is, uh, maybe I want a little bit lower. That's okay. Here we go. Right on top of the leg. It's going to go in the front of the leg. Here's one. And now we're going to do the second rail right there. Put that in the back. We're going to cover that there. Let's look to make sure it's okay. Now what I can do is bring my silicone mat here. Put that on. You're going to use the classic label punch. And I only used two and didn't use both of them. So I punched two of that. And what I done, let me remove that. I cut this in half. Let me make sure I move the camera there. Cut that, and it doesn't matter if it's straight or not. It's a vintage uh, card, so it doesn't matter if it's straight or not. Cut that back in two. Cut this in two. So that would give you four, and really I need like five. Pick it um, for my fence. And then what i done, I just use my sponge and add a little bit of... Um, the Sarah sand here. See? Just to give a little bit of weather and and don't worry if you crunch the paper, you want it kind of age. And you see some of them are wider, some of them are uh, skinnier. It's all good. Now I'm using the glue dots and I put one at the bottom and one at the top. This one fits so I'm, I don't have to worry. So I like to start at the bottom here, and we're going to put that right there. Now this one is more skinny. So what happened with the skinny one, you're going to put your glue dot there, glue dot there, you're going to squish your glue dot. So it's going to give a little bit more uh, thickness, because the glue dot, you know, you fold it. That is perfectly fine. And if it's not straight, it's okay. And I take my nails and really pound on it so then it give it even more oh it's one missing a thing I don't think so now I'm going to use another one here and I'm going to go in the center of it and then I can go and match the other two and when I say the center you know darn well I'm not measuring this that would involve measurement right I'm going to put that right there now I can use the other two and that's cover and I'm going to put that right here. Oh, make sure it's under. Voila. And then I get another skinny one here. And so remember when it's the skinny just fold back. And fold back your glue dot and then put that right there now we're going to bring the happy birthday and the happy birthday it's from um, well here it is a piece of cake the happy birthday so I'm going to use the soft suede so I just use a few color ink here if you notice and um, can I fit that in between You know what? We're going to go ahead and put that right here. So that's why you want to make sure that you put your fence in that because if not it would be hard to work around that. 
you can always maybe st stamp it in the sky absolutely then I take this we're gonna mount that so the white was I don't know if I told you the size or not the white it is um, four and one eight by um, three and five eight the soft suede it is five and a quarter by wait a minute five and a quarter by four it's three seven eight by five and three eight sorry and I'm going to have all measurement on my blog right below you get the direct link or above in that little circle eye then I mount that on a piece of crumb cake and I just stamp the trees inside so this is it my friends so here you can see I bet you can see the difference between with the glue and without the glue can I add it I could always add it but I would it would go right in my uh, fence and I think it would make more of a mess than anything else so I'm just going to leave it the way it is so that's how I've done my vintage snow front so even if it's in the holiday catalog doesn't mean that it's just for the holidays hope you enjoyed this till next time Happy stamping and you all in the US are welcome to I welcome to shop on my blog and I would appreciate all of your business. Thank you again and have a lovely day. Bye bye for now.